There are certain details you need to inform us and HMRC about. The most important change to tell us about is any change of address. HMRC definitely need to know about this, so you don't miss any communication from them. If we are set up as your tax agent, we can inform HMRC on your behalf. This might seem trivial, but it can severely impact your business. To give an example, a recent new client moved a couple of times and was only ever a PAYE taxpayer. It turns out he's slightly underpaid one year under PAYE, but because the HMRC did not get any replies to any of their letters, they changed his status to self-employed and then start slapping him with late filing fees and late payment interest on his account. Despite the fact his new employers had to keep up with his date changes and address changes, it still took them two years to finally get letters to him. And of course, in the meantime, interest, in, interest and penalties were accruing. Other personal details we need to inform HMRC about are change of name, you may need to provide HMRC with legal documentation. Change of a relationship or family changes. No, not if you ditch the boyfriend. This refers to getting married, entering a civil partnership or getting divorced, separating or stopping cohabitation. A change in your relationship status could impact on your tax credits or child benefit. Again further, a change in gender. HMRC are usually notified when the gender recognition statement is applied but you can inform HMRC specifically by writing to a special address which is below the video. If you have new sources of income, this needs to be notified to us so we can update our records and know what to ask you for when it comes to your tax return. Similarly, if you stop receiving income from a source, let us know. HMRC will automatically get some changes through, e.g. employment, as this happens automatically via your new employer, state pension which is fed to HMRC by the DWP, and from April 2017, bank and building society interest will automatically go to your digital tax account. If your turnover is likely to hit £83,000 in a rolling 12-month period, you probably have to be registered for VAT. So let us know if you think you're getting close to that level. So there you go. A change of address, change of name, change of gender, and any changes in income type. Thank you.